Some of you probably don't know this. Actually, none of you know this, but I'm like a big yoga guy. Like, I do yoga like every day. I usually do it in the mornings before I start my day. Just to like get the body going, get the mind going a little bit. And I can say, bro, doing yoga has like made a positive impact on my life. Like I feel like physically, I feel better for sure. And it's just nice. Like if you are a tight, and I do yoga for guys. Like they're specific on YouTube, like yoga for men. Like dudes, do yoga. Like you're gonna be a rock one day. I totally forgot that me and Nash, we did a tie-dye product the other day. And I forgot that I had two shirts out here. I had tie dyed. I did a plain white t shirt and I also tie dyed like a white sleeveless tank top. It'd be sick. It's still wet, dude. It's been out for like two days and it's still wet. But look at that. It's busted open. How sick this shirt is. Whoa. Yo, that is hard. That's hard. That's hard. You definitely can catch me wearing this in the gym, bro. Yeah, dude, I don't know what it's about, but you guys know this, obviously, if you guys have been on the channel, like, I'm an artsy kind of dude. I like doing, like, creative things. Like, these are sick. I'm so pumped to wear these. God, dude, look at this spider just scaling across the wall right now. Look at Buddy go. Sir, no sir, no sir. No sir. No, 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 no sir. Terps. What's up, kiddo? brother's room I like it and we're close to Gucci like my dog Gucci he doesn't like to go downstairs just like I guess it's too far from the front door so we didn't really hang out that much but now that I'm up here in this room I feel like we'll come a little bit closer hi do you like your new room your new play area I brought Gucci's toys in all of his toys his food and his water dish just so we can be closer together you know I like being close. Can I have a handshake? Can I have a high, uh, shake? Could you shake? Good boy. Good boy. So sweet. The biggest thing is this windows, man. I'm just like, I'm an outdoorsy, adventurous, naturistic kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? So I just like to be by the window. Just have that sense of just earth, life. Like, you know, universe. I'm trying to decide what I want to do for this, this season, this winter season. You already know I'm a snowboard fiend. So like, do I want to go live in the mountains again? Or do I want to like stay somewhere where it's not in the mountains, but I can like travel to go snowboarding. If I didn't go live in the mountains again, I probably only get to snowboard like two or three times. Instead of last season, I snowboarded like 130 times. And it's just, man, I don't know. I'm just so happy out there. I really am. I really am. I'm happy as f out there. Like Joe Rogan would say, I'm happy as f. That's what I would say. in and out.
coming out. It's always there. This is something I've cultivated for a long time and avoided things that make me unhappy and figured out what those things are and been very rigid about eliminating them from my life. There's a lot of cynicism in these days about inspiration and motivation because there's a lot of fake shit. I see a million of these inspirational quote pages run by people that are probably depressed. You know, you see a lot of people that are talking about how to get ahead in life, but they're not really doing anything themselves. So there's a lot of cynicism involved in that, but there's also sincerity in it. If you just look at it with a pure heart and a pure mind. Now, I had like a four mile bike ride to the house, to work actually. Because if I just think, well, tomorrow I'm just gonna coast and eat Twinkies and watch TV. Oh, oh, hello, sadness, my old friend. Hello, depression. Because when you're not doing anything, you feel like shit. And that's just a part of being a human being. And we can pretend that we're something other than what we really are. I'm pretty fucking happy. I'm pretty fucking happy. You made it, man. 104 all the time.